remote part of Indonesia at the moment and I thought it'd be pretty interesting to bring you guys along while we do the grocery shopping because it looks a lot different doing it here than it did back home in Australia. I have my shopping list here. Uh, I've got a bag for everything that we're going to get and let's go. I'm Benita, that's Yosh, and this is our daughter Tallulah May. We're a family of three that have been sailing around the world for the last five years on board our 40 foot sailboat Nanji. here that we've anchored at and uh, there's a back door that we can enter through to a shop along this beach here. Instant millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> main grocery store for Tour Pajet. There's a whole lot of fresh produce here and a few other knickknacks around. We're going to come back here. We first have to go and get some baby formula and baby food which is there's a shop just across the road. So we'll do that first and we're going to come back here and stock up with some goodies. I found some emergency baby food that Tallulah likes to eat and the biggest thing in Indonesia is to double check the expiry date because it's not always in date. Yeah, so this one's good. The biggest thing about um, food shopping when you live on a boat is that generally you have to carry everything home by yourself. So you are kind of limited to how much you can get at a time. Lucky like, yeah, I got the biggest trolley in the shop. Found soy milk. Scott. Avocados. Most of the local food is organic, so you have everything here, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. It's not like when you go into a supermarket and everything is just like perfectly round and this, the right colour and all of this. So you've got a mixed bag of everything and you have to kind of go through and pick out the best produce. <laughs> We are going to be heading off for a couple of weeks, so it's important to get some fruit and veg that's going to last the distance. And these pineapples here aren't quite ripe yet, so they're going to ripen on the boat um, probably in about a few days' time, so this is perfect. I never thought I'd find this here, but they must be importing broccoli. This is like my favorite vegetable, and it's just not a thing that really grows in Asia, so stoked to have this. These are a little Indonesian treat. They're called rakik kacang and uh, they taste absolutely delicious. But as you can probably see a little bit, they're quite greasy and full of oil. So, And we found some uh, full cream milk as well for Yosh. So we've uh, ticked a few goals here today. Oh, cornflakes. Wow. Salapondo. Salapondo, you try. Salapondo, okay. Wow, I'm trying this new fruit here. 
Bagus, manis. Bagus, manis. Ha. Ha, so sweet. Very sweet. Manis. Mm. It tastes like a little bit like a pear, but mm. salad pundu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> snake fruit. The lovely lady just let me try this fruit here. It's called snake fruit. It's special to Indonesia, and uh, it's called snake fruit because the skin on the outside is really hard and brittle, and uh, the pattern on it is just like snake skin. So it's very special and very delicious as well. Makan pay kumbu, from pay kumbu. Pay kumbu. Ah, hil. Okay. Bukit tinggi. Bukit tinggi. Rice. Rice. Okay. Rice. No. Yeah. It's okay. Very good. Hmm. Yeah, good. Oh, oh, bye, no. Yeah. Hil from rice. You know. From rice, yeah. Oh, that looks good too. Just for you. This is good. Like a rice cake. Yeah. Hmm. And now. Very nice, thank you very mm. much. Mm. <laughs> oh, a little treat. Take a whole box. Okay, just put it Okay, okay. Oh, it's a bit hard to get a baby product. Oh. It's running out. Running we have out. enough like for now, but we'll need more. Yeah. yeah. Today is today is Monday, yeah? Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday. Monday. Worst to worst, it's nothing here. If not, we send from Padang. Yeah, yeah, that's all what you can do. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so we're asking the lady if she had baby formula. We have plenty, but we just want to always continue to top up to have lots. And so the lady's just giving us a key for a motorbike. We've got to go find some. <laughs> so we've got to go find her. She gave us a key, but she never said what bike. Which one? This one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be with me or not? Second date. 2023. Yeah. Baby's well fed. It's about time we got back to the boat because there's a big nasty squall that's just rolled in so we got to get back before we uh, get smoked. If there's one thing about boat life it's that everything takes twice as long to get done and food shopping is no different. After purchasing the goods then lugging them in the tender back to the boat, pulling all the food up onto Nanji and down the companionway, the task is only half complete as we still need to put everything away. However, once this necessary task is complete and the boat is full of food, we always have a feeling of being rich, closely followed by an itchy feeling of we can go anywhere. Harnessing that energy, we decided to set sail on a surf trip to the next archipelago, the Banyak Islands. Whilst we are limited in what food can be found in villages along the way, we can always seem to find some fruit and vegetables. Luxury Western items are very few and far between. Cheese is a rare commodity and meat is a roll of the dice. But we do get enough food to prepare meals every day. The Banyak Islands are one of our favourite places to visit as it offers so much activities and such a beautiful surrounding. Send it. Although this area is extremely remote and even the villages close by are required to take a boat to the bigger towns to find supplies. So after two weeks away we decided to try something different and get a food order sent on the ferry from Sumatra. into Padang, into the city um, and doing the food shopping, we um, put through an order to an agent here and um, he's organised everything. So uh, we just had a stock load of food dropped off to us, which uh, feels really good because we are getting down to the, um, the cabbages. Lettuces, cabbages, bananas that look like they need to be eaten. These big, beautiful, juicy tomatoes. Ooh, look at that. 
There's this one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, we've got some greens. Look at all these mangoes. Oh, we've got dragon fruit, carrots, cucumbers. Oh my goodness. Mangoes, big There's papaya. A big papaya. Oh, this is like so awesome. It's just like, because it's all organic, you know, it's just like straight out of the ground, <laughs> unwashed. <laughs> We got a big, beautiful delivery of fresh produce, um, but we also got some other things as well, like long life milk, we got some pasta, noodles, that kind of thing. Um, and so one thing you have to be very careful of when you're buying food in Southeast Asia is that um, some of the supermarkets, not all of them, but some of them have cockroaches. I think it's because of like the humidity and also the length that things have to travel to get out to all the islands like for instance Indo has 17,000 islands so to deliver food it's it's a long process so you have to be very careful because you don't want to be bringing bugs onto your boat I found a lot of eggs like under these little tabs on the milk cartons and like sometimes in the creases on the bottom I like to wipe everything down so every packet gets wiped down also like all of the fresh produce gets rinsed as well so you don't want to be bringing bugs onto your boat it's better to be safe than to be sorry. They also like to lay the eggs in cardboard as well. So just don't bring cardboard onto the boat. Like um, if it is in a cardboard box, take it out and then repackage it or put some labels on it or something like that um, because it, that's where they'll end up laying their eggs. So yeah. Um, and they also, the ends of pineapples and the ends of bananas as well. Um, I think that's actually why it's bad luck to bring bananas on a boat because you're probably going to bring an infestation of bugs. So yeah, um, all the the real buggy stuff um, like the potatoes and onions and, and pineapples um, I've got up here. The bananas are already been in the fridge. So I use water and vinegar for this, just like a little bit of vinegar in the water. It just gets rid of any like pesticides that they use, um, any germs, any bugs. Just sit like that. Yeah. There's like ants on it already. So this definitely needs a good wash. So pineapple is bad for bugs. <laughs> so I'm gonna soak these pineapples there. They've got a lot of bugs on them, so.